you know, today was a lot of fun because you got to play around with a lot of ingredients that literally I've never seen before until I showed up. Um, and it's always interesting speaking to such a varied crowd, you know, and you can hear when someone's asking you a question, oh, they probably work with carrots or they work with lettuce. Um, but again, it's all, this is more of an intimidating crowd to me than, you know, a couple thousand people just watching me cook or something like that because they're such experts in what they do. This is like painting for one of the, for the masters, you know, right? It is, it is, yeah. So uh, it was so much fun being here. We got to show a lot of fun ingredients, especially uh, this one that uh, is stinking toe fruit, right? Which, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's cheesy. cheesy. I mean, I, I know personally my family, like it's vegetable first, put out three side dishes and then figure out what we're gonna do um, for a traditional protein and sometimes no protein. Uh, and I think within my restaurants and my chefs as we're creating food, um, you know, we can do a number of dishes. You know, a third of our menu at least is just vegetable dishes. Uh, so I think that's pretty amazing because they're also, that means they're selling as well. It means that's what people want. Uh, and it's not just about appeasing the vegetarian or the occasional vegan that's in your restaurant. Now it's just about making a delicious dish that happens to be just about carrots or broccoli or whatever it is. And it's not a fad, it's not a niche. This is this is for real. This, it, is, this is a sea change I, I, that I've seen. I, you know, probably more than I do, but no, it, it's, it's, it's the real deal. I mean, I, I think that it is, it's, it's vegetable first. Um, and I think that's great. It's great for everyone's health. And uh, it, it's certainly been good for me personally and my family. It's, it's chefs cooking in the restaurants, but now it's TV. So it's millions and millions of people being exposed to young chefs cooking on whatever show that is and making a dish that's about pimento peppers or carrots or broccoli. And for people at home, like, oh wow, you can do that with broccoli and carrots? Like I think it's, they're not just uh, you know, the secondary player anymore. Uh, they're, they're the main stage. Well, at the end of the day, that's the marketing angle behind it. However you're conveying the marketing, you create entertainment that in turn becomes inspiration. That's right, and when entertainment and the inspiration is delicious and also good for you, uh, it's a pretty much win-win. Now it's about people want to eat vegetables, how do you deliver vegetables in a way that makes them want to come back, order that dish again, try to cook that dish at home. Uh, a lot of it is has been for me the grill, you know, cooking a carrot on the grill, cooking beets on the grill, getting a depth of flavor that people aren't really expecting when it comes uh, to produce, you know, um, and also using a varied amount of the things that we're cooking uh, to show people that it's not just about two or three different fruits or vegetables. Look at the cornucopia that we have in front of us. I, I do think it's kind of the year of the return of the carrot, maybe if you will, because everyone loves carrots. I'm now it's about, you, you kind of got a thing for carrots. I, I kind of like carrots. Um, return of the carrot, return of the normal sized sort of vegetable or even the larger uh, vegetable, so that would be probably two. Uh, I'm calling Swiss chard as the next leafy green. Uh, big moment, right? Um, so, I mean, they're all healthy, we know that, but you know, it's not just kale anymore, right? It can be Swiss chard, collard greens, turnip greens, mustard greens, um, but leafy green vegetables. Uh, what else, you know, I, I don't think you can say it's the return of beets from a chef's perspective, but for the normal household, I think it is. I think people now uh, are going out and they see so many great beet salads that they're cooking with them a little bit more at home.